Do you have any tips for negotiating my commission with my broker? Guys, I'm gonna get a little fired up here because I'm gonna go back to memory lane of when I was 19, not humble, I didn't know anything, and I had my head in my ass, okay? I wanted a higher split. I started at a company back then called Prudential California Realty in Folsom, California. My buddy, DJ at the time, he had a 60-40 split. I had a 50-50. I was pissed, I was mad. I went to my broker, I said, hey, Bill Gaylor, I wanna be 60-60 like DJ. And I spent all this time trying to negotiate and negotiate. And what I learned was, I didn't even have a sale yet. I didn't sell anything. I didn't have a business plan. I didn't have a, a projections. I didn't have a, a marketing plan on how I was gonna do the business. I had nothing. So I went in there with zero leverage. And you know what Bill told me? Tyler, why don't you sell some shit, right? And then I had to go sell it. What I'm telling you guys is the best way to negotiate your commission is to actually go in there with deals, with real leverage. You know what I did as I got better at real estate? I started to do a lot more deals. I'd go in there and say, hey, I've got four in escrow, I've got this many I'm gonna, buyers I'm working with, they're qualified, here's what I'm gonna do, here's my business plan for the year, I want to have a higher split. And then guess what happened? Bill told me, no, he's still not giving me a split. So then what I did, my friends, I said, if I hit these numbers, what can I expect as a commission split? And then he gave me some sauce, right? Then he said, if you hit these, I can maybe, maybe go up 5%. If you hit these, I can go up 10%. If you hit these, I can go up 15%. And so that drove me, I was driven to hit those numbers. I don't wanna give you tactics on negotiating your split because it's, it's this easy. Do you have a business plan? Like This is what I would ask you if you came to me and I was your broker, I'd say, great, Sally, what's your uh, business plan? How many homes are you gonna sell this year? What's your marketing plan? How are you gonna get that? How many leads do you need or referrals do you need for a closing? What's your closing ratio? I would ask you these questions. And when you didn't know them, I'd say, why don't you go get your stuff together? Why don't you go figure out your business plan and then come back to me and then let's talk. And I'm here to jam and help out with you, but guess what? You need to have a business plan. You're trying to negotiate, but you have no leverage. Let's get leverage. Guys, we have to get better at negotiating, not just with our broker on our splits, but really we have to get better at negotiating with buyers and sellers on, on tactics and, 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 and on price reductions and commission. I mean, truly, if you generate a lot of business, the commission will come. And we're always set on, I wish I had this much more, or my broker's not provided enough value. If you're in a bad commission split and your broker's not gonna hire it, two things, find a better broker, or guess what, use your broker. And what I mean by that is, find a better broker who's gonna give you more value and give you a higher commission split, or take the commission split that you're at and leverage it to go to your broker and say, hey, I'm getting, I'm getting value, right? I'm bugging him or her, I'm asking him, I'm asking him for marketing, I'm having him do this, I'm using the front desk girls almost as a personal stuff, I'm doing all this stuff, right? And I'm getting the value. I think we have a problem because we hear our friends that get better commissions or we wanna always negotiate commissions and all of that time and energy we spend on commissions, we technically could be spending on buyers and sellers which is giving you more leverage and you're taking that leverage and then you're going back to your broker and going, voila, here's where I'm at, here's the deals I'm doing, give me a better commission split. So. I, I'm a little fired up because I remember it brought me back when I was 20 and I didn't know anything and I think you guys know a lot, but when you're going to negotiate with your broker, go in with ammo. That's what I'm telling you. I love brokers, I love realtors, I'm pro real estate, truly. But at the same time, use your brain and go in there with the tactics, go in there with the skills, go in there with the beef and the chops to show them this is what I have planned out and this is what I think I can provide value to you as a broker and how can you help me now? Don't go in there blindsided because I'll tell you, I would rip you apart as a broker. Rip. Ciao.